am Criselda. I am the president of IP2 Club, Intellectual Property Protector. We are the sworn protectors of intellectual property. The creations of your mind, inventions of your imagination, artistic work, designs, symbols, innovations that your brilliant brains and passionate hearts could come up with. Hi, hi, I am, um, oh, my turn. Okay. Um, yeah, I was an ex-pirate. This was me. In today's news, another intellectual property headquarters has been destroyed by mad pirates. Copies of several books have been stolen. Some are uploaded online, but some pages seem unreadable, and a lot of spamming occur upon download. This is another blow to the intellectual property economy. More creators are becoming frustrated with their authorship violated. Some of them have given up their crafts, causing a lot of people to lose jobs, and give up on their dreams to becoming published authors and creators. The world of books is threatened. To become an author, you need to go through years of training to prove yourself worthy of the name expert. Yeah, so that's why I left the piracy business. Because I learned to respect the craft of writing and creating. And no, it's not just me, the author. There are many diligent working bees, like me. Contributors to the process, even in their small way, at times even forgotten, in the food chain of book creation. And look at me now, jobless. No more books to print, no more content to put together, no business. Therefore me, jobless. Water, please. Yeah, sorry. And you know what? When they scan or copy the original books, they often forget the cover. So much creative time was put on a single cover. A masterpiece disregarded, unappreciated. As a lawyer, I have to protect the rights of every creator. I have to study it. I have to be it. So no, I cannot use photocopies or illegal downloads. I am duty-bound to protect intellectual property. And as a human being, am I in close-up? I also cannot do otherwise. As an educator, I respect the rights of people behind every book. They give a piece of themselves in every page. Oh wait, is it my turn? Okay. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm a new recruit of IP2. Um, I joined, I joined because, um, why did I join again? No, it's not just me. A lot of people suffer. We have killed the dreams of new creators because their hard work and effort are not given due recognition. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, we need books. We need more creators to create. We need that wealth and knowledge. We need more sources of information. We need creators to create. We need credible sources of information to continue because businesses die. So it's not just people's dreams we're killing. It's a whole lot of people's livelihood too. Learning dies. And the students, we don't have anything to use anymore for everyday learning. What would the future look like if we fail to protect this treasure? This. Me. I'd be lost, you know. I'd be uninspired to create and innovate for the future. The wonders of learning can continue to be colorful, dynamic, and exchanges on an intellectual level. It's my stuff. If we know how to take care of what's inside the pages of every book. If and when we respect and protect every content as we appreciate everyone who created the book. Every book is a treasure. Respect it. Protect it. Buy and own it.